Hi everybody, it's me and Lloyd, and we're going to read to you a great book. It's called, The World Needs More Purple People. Purple people? What are purple people? What are they talking about? Do you know any purple people? Thank you. No? No? Yeah, me neither. Well, let's see what the book's about. It's written by Kristen and Benjamin. And on the back, oh wow. Let's read what it says. It says, hey kid, yay you. Are you kind? Are you curious? Can you be really, really ridiculously silly? And you'd better open this book right now because you're about to become a purple person. Here we go. On the inside cover, it says, the best things are purple. Purple stickers, purple bicycles, purple aliens. It's a magical color that brings other colors together. Okay, but what's a purple person? We were just, yeah, wondering that. Great question. Purple people love to ask questions. They are kind and hardworking, and they laugh a lot, especially at grandpa's funny noises. A purple person is an everyday superhero. How do you become one? That's the fun part. Penny Purple will lead you through the steps. That sounds like a good idea. Let's see. Oh, and it's from Mrs. Wisniewski. She's a teacher at Yoakum School. It says, love you and all you're doing from Kayla Wisniewski. She donated this book to our class, a Diverse Book Drive. So thank you, Miss Wisniewski. Oh. I don't know if that cut that off. Thank you, Miss Wisniewski. Here we go. The world needs more purple people. This book is dedicated to all purple people. Whatever shade, we're glad you're here. Hey kid, I've got a secret. It's gonna knock your socks off and I can't wait to share it with you. Dot, dot, dot. Ta-da! Follow my guide to become a purple person. How to be a purple person by Penny. Now you may be asking yourself, why in the whole wide world would I want to be purple? Purple is a magic color when red and blue work together. I think all the best things in the world are purple. But you're probably wondering, what does that have to do with people? Wow, are you a genius? Because you're already on your way to becoming a purple person. You wanna know why? Skip that out. Step one, ask really great questions. My dad says purple people ask great questions, questions about everything, even questions about questions. Hey dad, how far away is outer space? Have you ever met a dolphin? How many dolphins live in outer space? Questions, I don't know. Purple questions are the kind that help you learn something really big about the world or something really small about another person. How tall is the world's tallest rainbow? What's your name? What's your bear's name? Charlie. Dad says the more purple questions you ask, the more purple you become. How many do you think there are? He also says, I can only ask him 20 questions about space dolphins per day. Tweet. Step two, laugh. My grandma says purple people laugh a lot. We are always laughing together. 
I mean, like snot out of our nose laughing. Oh my. <laughs> it's gross and silly at the same time. We laugh at books. Hey, we just did that. We laugh at jokes. How do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it. Ah! The books they're reading, it says, gargoyles love enchiladas. How to tickle your dog. We laugh at donkey dances and hairy elephant knees. Hee-haw. And we especially laugh at grandpa's funny noises. Ha ha, snort, ha ha. Purple laughing helps us remember the things that we share and forget what we thought made us different. And it's almost impossible to be angry when you are laughing. Try it, I dare you. Grandma says the more purple laughing you do, the more purple you become. She also says grandpa's noises are her favorite funny noises in the whole wide world. Do you hear Lloyd's noise? It's kind of silly. He's groaning right now. He really wants to go outside and play, but he's waiting very patiently. Step three, use your voice and don't lose your voice. My mom says purple people use their voice and don't lose their voice. She encourages me to use my voice to sing. My dad is the one with the hairy chest who loves me more than all the rest. To give good ideas. Let's wear monster costumes to school. And share my opinions. I personally feel like we shouldn't have to eat Brussels sprouts because they smell like sweaty socks. That's an opinion. I personally like Brussels sprouts, so. Opinions, you know how that goes. If you've been to kindergarten, yeah, I know, yeah, you remember. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people lose, the, lose their voice and that's okay. It happens. A purple voice helps someone who is having trouble finding their own voice. Purple people don't just speak up, they also listen. Maybe you could tell them you don't like it when they call you that name. Want me to help you tell them? Mom says the more you use a purple voice, the more purple you become. Mom, can, we, can you help me with my play? By Pennington. She also says she heard my opinion on Brussels sprouts, but I still have to eat them. I'm going to work on a better argument. Oops. Step four, work hard. Super duper hard. My grandpa says purple, peeper, purple people know how to dig in and get stuff done. He and I like to work hard while we build things. And while we learn things, birds of the Northeast. And while we grow things. Purple work is the kind of work that's done together to change something that needs changing. What do we want? More playgrounds. When do we want them? Now! Fix something that needs fixing. Or help someone who needs helping. Right? Are you purple? That means yes. Okay. Grandpa says the more purple work you do, the more purple you become. He also says no purple work has ever been done while sitting on your backside sipping strawberry lemonade. Okay, are you ready for the last step? Are you ready? 
Are you sure? Are you sure you're sure? Are you really, really ready? Okay. Drum roll, please. You do it. I'm turning the page. You do it. Come on. Come on. Oh, I hear you. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, I want two more. Keep going. Step five. Paint yourself purple. <laughs> I don't know about that step. I like all the other steps, but I don't know about, I don't know if I look, well, let's fight, let, let's, let's hear her out. Step five, just be the real you. Oh, good. Like my teacher always says, purple people come in every color you can dream up. And every size you can think of. The only way to be purple is to just be you because you're the only you we've got. That's very true. There's only one you. Thank goodness. I don't know if we could handle that many yous. One, one of each is enough. So those are my surefire steps to turning into a purple per. Hey, wait a minute. You ask really great questions. You laugh a lot. You use your voice all the time. You are a really hard worker. And you are totally you. Well, I'll be a llama's mama. Mama? <laughs> You've been beautifully purple this whole time. I am sure glad you're a purple person because the world needs more purple people, just like you. And here on the inside, the back cover, look. So many purple people, all different shapes, sizes, colors. That's pretty cool. Ages, give it a round of applause for the world needs more purple people. Yay! That was a great one. Let's give it one more. I'll join you. All right. Thanks, Ms. Wiz. This was a great book. I hope you guys enjoyed it like we did. I know that my class earlier this year really enjoyed it, so I hope they enjoyed it again if they're re-watching. All right, kiddos. I miss you. I love you. Well, it's waiting patiently to go outside. So I know he misses you too. He's just being a little stubborn. All right, I'll see you purple people later. Bye.